Good morning, Rock Church, Facebook, YouTube, brothers and sisters that's following me by way of Twitter. This is Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson. I know, guys, it's very early in the morning, but you know what? I got to bring this word on this wondrous Wednesday because my schedule is very tight, but I'm going to bring the word anyway. Heavenly Father, we come this morning. We thank you for another opportunity to gather together. God, I pray that as my brothers and sisters will rise this morning, God, they hear this word based on what you got to say in and through me. May you be glorified in Jesus' name. You ought to say amen. Come on, somebody. Well, as you see, this title for the day's message on this wondrous Wednesday, the title is Extra, Extra, Read All About It. Come on, somebody. Man, it is important that we read all about what God has to say for our lives. The question I have for you this morning, what do you do? when you are in conflict with somebody or something. There's a conflict. So what do you do right now? There's a conflict that I have. It's very early in the morning. So the conflict I have is, man, do I do it, my live stream now, or do I wait till later on? Well, my schedule won't allow it. So I'd rather do it right now. Now, let me just tell you this. Do you not know that conflict is real? It's always before us. So what do we do about that? How do we make decisions? Okay. Now, one thing I want you to know from a spiritual perspective is that our flesh is in conflict with the spirit of the Lord. Come on now. It's in dispute. Our fleshly nature is always in dispute, man. It's always trying to have its way. But the realm of word for the day is going to help us so that when our fleshly nature are in conflict with the spirit, it's going to help us to overcome. You ought to say amen. The Bible reads in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. It says, so I say, walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So how do we do that? But not confusing our subjective thinking, which is solely based on our perspective, our feelings and our thoughts. That's right, your subjective thinking, because we always have an opinion, right? I know I have an opinion about things. You may have an opinion about things, but our subjective thinking, we got to make sure we bring that under subjection when it relates to what God has to say. Now, instead of allowing our days to live like we want each day, how we feel, things that we think about, we ought to consider what spirit is in operation. Now, therefore, if we live by faith and not by sight, then in the spiritual realm, we can know this for sure, that it won't be in conflict. Now, you're going to be strong and have these urges that we talked about yesterday. We know we don't need these urges, but they happen. But see, there's a conflict of interest if we're not careful, because I know the spirit definitely is willing, but the body is weak. You ought to say amen. So, Therefore, we should not be led by subjective thinking, all right? Now, I want you to know this, that the power of Christ will help us not to gratify the desires of the flesh. You ought to say amen. Okay, are you ready to release your faith this morning, Elder Brooks? Are you ready to release your faith to, to know that being what? Being about your purpose in Christ, okay? So I like to tell you extra, extra, be all about it. Be all about allowing yourself to be led by the Holy Spirit, which involves three key things. You want to write these three key things out. Number one, say, Holy Spirit, I want you to order my steps and my stops in every way, okay? Now, you want to do that in the way of saying, I want you to order my perspective, okay? The way my attitudes of my heart. Holy Spirit, I want you to order my feelings, my emotions, so I don't jump in from one emotion to another emotion I want to have a handle on my emotion. Holy Spirit, won't you order my thoughts, which help allow me to have deep convictions in what I need to do in the spiritual realm, not the physical realm. See, the Bible clearly says that the spirit is always willing, but the body is weak. The flesh is weak. Okay, number two, if you want to be about, okay, Number two is being open to following the convictions of the Holy Spirit. That means our flesh will naturally desire what is contrary. In other words, what is opposite of what God wants us to do. So we want to say, Holy Spirit, come on now. I don't want to be in conflict. So help me in this area. And number three, you say, Holy Spirit, look, guess what? 
I want to learn to be sensitive between and have discernment between what my subjective thinking, which is my personal feelings, you know, hey, my opinions. I want you, the Holy Spirit, to prompt everything. I want you to persuade my thinking, persuade my spirit. Give me, per, give me pertinent advice to how I'm supposed to live my life. That's what happens when we are in conflict with the Holy Spirit. We don't want to be in conflict. We want him to order our steps and our stuff. You ought to say amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word of God this morning. We thank you, God, that we can see some of our subjective thinking things that we are persuaded in, things that we think about. Oh, God, our opinions. We know our personal opinions can be off the chart. God, let us not get into our feelings, but get into the word. Let the spirit do the speaking and the convicting. But we read the word of God. God, I know that we have personal convictions about things, but if they're not aligned with your word, God, help us to get in alignment with your word because life as we know it, can be all could be confused with confliction all the time. Have your way this wondrous Wednesday. May you be glorified in Jesus' name. Mwah. God bless you, Elder Thomas. God bless you all for being able to get up. Now, my brothers and sisters, be praying for me. I hear there's a lot of snow in Chicago coming. I'm in Orlando, Florida. I got a flight coming out this, this afternoon. I'm trusting to believe I can get home now. God's blessings on you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your commitment. I look forward to seeing you in the morning. Be blessed. I love you.